want you to take a second and imagine a soldier from Bible times. Now you're probably picturing a strong individual with a helmet, some other forms of armor, maybe a shield, and a sword or a spear. In Paul's letter to the Ephesians, Paul uses this exact same picture to make an analogy about life as a believer in Jesus. He says that our struggle is less of a physical one and more of a figurative struggle as we seek to do what God has asked us. As part of this analogy, in Ephesians 6 and verse 17, Paul says to take the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. In other words, Paul is using the symbol of a sword to represent the Bible itself. With this information in mind, I want to consider a rather obscure passage in the scriptures. 2 Samuel chapter 23 is a list of all the prominent members in David's army, among whom was a man named Eleazar. It says of Eleazar that he fought against the Philistines, one of the enemies of Israel, all day long and was victorious over them. And then it leaves us with this rather odd detail where it says that Eleazar's hand clave to his sword. Now it might not be a sword, but you've probably experienced this same feeling before. Maybe it's that your hands are stiff and shaky after spending a long time mowing the lawn. Or maybe it's that your hand is stuck like you're holding a pencil after you've been studying for that big exam. Or maybe it's just that your legs are stiff after a long car ride. The idea is that our body becomes shaped or molded by something if we spend enough time doing it. Now when it says that Eliezer's hand clave to his sword, it seems like an odd piece of information that the Bible is telling us. But when we approach it with that understanding of what a sword represents in the Bible, we can take away a deeper lesson. You see, the same way that Eliezer's hand was shaped by his sword, our lives need to be shaped by our spiritual sword with the consistent and long-term reading of the Bible, which should be able to shape or mold our lives as spiritual soldiers for Christ.